Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today I'm checking out master grips from Aerie. These are hand grips that will attach to any Aerie camera or any camera that will accept an Aerie rosette. And there are two styles available. This is the thumb wheel version. As you can see, as I rotate the wheel, I'm changing my focus. I'm gonna pan around here and this is the rocker version. The rocker version is like a kind of like a zoom demand type arrangement uh, allows me to uh, change my zoom here. However, uh, two things to take note on this. I can change the function to whatever I want on any hand grip. Airy makes this style of the rocker and the thumb wheel in left and right hand versions. Also notice that I have two hand grips, but I have three motors hooked up to my Alexa Mini here. And that's because you can also multitask with these hand grips as well. As well. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to set this up and then show you the functionality built into the hand grips. The one common thread on all the different styles of the hand grips is that they all have this four pin L bus connector. And the nice thing about the L bus connector is that it allows us to loop cables from one source to another. So I'm gonna be using a series of these to connect to the camera, but also to the other hand grip. And then the signal from that hand grip can then go out to my uh, C-Force mini motors. Before I put the lens on, I just wanted to take a look, see you've got the L bus connector here, and I am sending those cables between the two uh, hand grips, and then I am taking them over to three motors on here. Notice I have two hand grips, but we're gonna be taking a look at the dual function capability of the master grips. I've got a bit of an odd angle here. I'm looking uh, up and over the mini because I want to show you the uh, screens on the top of the master grips. This is where we're going to set all our preferences, change our settings, uh, navigate all the menus within them. These are very extensive menus because it allows us to do a lot of different things. In this particular circumstance, what I'm going to show you is uh, when you have a file from a non-LDS lens. The 28 to 80 is not an LDS lens. It is not sending data to the contact points on my PL mount. So what I did was I built a lens file with this using a WCU4. So in this circumstance, I have called up that lens file in the mini, and now I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate uh, the hand grips to that file. So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna swipe up as it, ex as it asked, and you can see the focus is starting up. I'm gonna cross camera here and start the zoom. And once these have uh, calibrated themselves, they will now show me uh, data for the respective uh, focus or zoom operation. Okay, so my focus is done. So you can see with my thumb wheel, now I can roll focus and you'll see that it starts to populate and again, the rotation on these is completely, in other words, uh, which way you want to roll towards infinity or minimum focus is completely up to you. Um, you can change all of those parameters as well as this ratio here. Uh, the one to two is simply a uh, setting as to the speed at which this focus is being achieved. Now I can go into preferences and I can change that uh, because I could uh, change it based on the amount of rotation for a given lens. So if I have to do whip pans and do an extreme focus change, I can go in and change that relationship. Same thing is true of the zoom. I can change the rate of zoom uh, and I can also set limits on all of these uh, settings as well. I wanna show you the functionality on the thumb wheel with focus allocated to it, but uh, the menu structure I'm gonna show you is the same in every master grip. So right now, as, I, as you can see, I have focus allocated to the thumb wheel and I turn it and you can see my data changing. Also notice at the bottom you have this ratio and that ratio is telling me how uh, fast or what the rate of change of focus will be relative to turning the thumb wheel here. If I want to change that parameter, I can go into my menus that are underneath this top menu. There's three layers of menus. And to access them, I'm going to just simply keep my finger on the top of the screen here. 
for a second or two and that gets me to a secondary and now I can scroll up and down and go into the menu item that I want to access the third level of menu I'm just going to tap and now you see there's that ratio of one to one I could scroll up and down, choose the ratio I wish, and then get out of the menu, but that's just not realistic uh, while we're shooting. To get out of these menus, you're going to swipe to the right, swipe to the right. There we are. Now we're back up. I still have this one-to-one. -to, -one. to get to my next top menu, I'm now going to swipe to the left, and that gets me to the menu that controls the joystick functions on the master grip. Now notice at top and bottom it says speed plus and minus. What I've done is I've gone into the menu and I've told the joystick to change the ratio plus or minus. So let's go back to the other menu on focus and if I joystick up notice that now my ratio is four to one. So I've got a pretty aggressive change in focus here. It's almost like a, a speed crank on a manual focus and if I go down on this now I can go one to four, which is a very subtle change. So you can really set this up for any kind of shooting scenario and focal length that you have on the camera. I'm going to go back over to that next top menu. So I'm going to swipe to my left and notice that it says FI in the center. Again, to go into the secondary, I'm going to just hold on the screen for a moment. There we go. And I can now choose a function for that center spot. I have it in this FI function, and I'm going to swipe out of here. The reason I have that is because I'm going to go back to my focus, and I'm going to push in on my joystick. That's a little uh, odd to do it because I had the camera pointed straight up for this, but very deliberately push in, and now you can see now I can control my iris push in again on the joystick, I'm back to my focus. So incredibly helpful and incredibly fast to change uh, those functions. Let me go to the third top menu and you can see that this controls the red button. Uh, and what I'm doing with this is having it do record on off. Notice the green status right now is telling me that uh, there is media in the camera, it's formatted and we're ready to go. So if I push in on the red record button, you get a red tally and off we go. Stop it again and now it goes back to standby. The default is always to go back to the function, so there's focus. So I'm gonna go back over to that. Again, to access the menu, I go in, hold for a moment, and now I can go in and I can choose a different function for uh, this. I'm going to swipe out of here and I'm going to move back over to the uh, secondary screen. I'll show you one more feature because we had this for focus and iris. But I just wanted to show you that you also have something that is UB. That stands for user button. If you have a task allocated to a user button on an ARRI camera, uh, you can now put that function onto the joystick or you could put it onto the what's traditionally the record button and now you've got multi-functions available on every master grip. So once I have that done, I'm now going to swipe out and I'm going to go to our final top menu, which is the system. And again, I hold for just a moment it opens it up and you have language, brightness, a bunch of different uh, things you could uh, set up in here. Again, incredibly uh, feature rich and allows you to customize the uh, master grip to any situation. Take a look at the zoom functions. If I move the rocker, you're going to see that my focal length changes. Also notice that there's a percentage down here. What this is indicating is the maximum of potential speed that the zoom could take place. It's very much like on a microforce where you have the dial at the bottom of the hand control and that controls the rate of zoom. And this is being controlled a couple, again, there's a couple of ways to do everything in these grips. I'm going to tap one time, go in here, 
And I'm going to go to my speed menu again. If I tap on that, there's that 39%. So I'm going to swipe out of here and I'm going to show you a better way to do it, which is notice that my joystick has been uh, set to speed plus or minus by moving it up or down. So again, I'm going to take my uh, joystick and I'm going to click up and now you can see that that percentage is changing. I can also go in and in this menu, change attributes just like I did before. Uh, I can have user buttons. Uh, I could change uh, focus iris again, or the focus iris if I had it assigned to here, uh, limits, all that kind of good stuff. Again, a lot, a lot of functionality built into this. Um, huge uh, flexibility built into it. I'm going to go to the next one. And again, my red button is set to record. So I go to record and there you go. You get the tally and the status of the green is telling me that media is available uh, for recording. And then you have the system as the last stop here. In system, I have language, brightness, the same things that we saw in the previous uh, setup. That wraps up my look at Master Grips from Aerie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.